Yeah. It's your boy Gruff here, back another video, and today <clears throat> I got another video for you guys today. Today we're going to be making a guide, equipment guide for you guys. An updated one. I have made one like I, think I made like two, like three of these already, but I had to make one in 2022. And you guys wanted me to make an updated one, more specifically, how to get Z's and z pluses you know you can definitely get s pretty easily so i kind of want to make a more of a guide on the z's and z plus because just the amount of uh erasures that we've been getting like they increased um all that stuff there's definitely in you know they have the whole guarantee slot system as well you can definitely get z's and z plus easier than before so i'm gonna be talking about why it matters like why it's important to get like z's and z pluses focusing on optimal equips i'm also gonna be talking about where to get you know how you can farm equipments and everything how to get slot removers and stuff and then i'm also gonna be showing you guys a special website on how you guys can see what certain numbers you need to calculate like what a, what numbers you need for a certain equipment that you're working on to get to that to get to that z or get to that z plus uh rank item you guys can get me so Make sure you guys watch the full vid. Make sure you guys subscribe. Drop a like, man. We're trying to keep growing, bro. We're on the road to 8K subs. We're like literally halfway there to 8K. So I appreciate all the new people that has put up to the channel and is like the content that they're seeing. So without further ado, let's get on with the video. So, you know, equipments are important. Now, the reason why equipments are important because it is can literally make or break how much stronger your team is, especially if you focus on the optimal equips and everything. You guys see my, my main region. This is my team. It's like my main team is region. And you guys see all my units has Z plus on it because um, it helps. It just helps. It just helps getting that getting your equipment to the highest amount of numbers and everything because every little percentage counts. And if you focus on the optimal equips, they can do more damage. They can tank better and they can, you know, have more HP and all that stuff. Ultimate damage, blue card damage, anything like that. So, uh, yeah. So, Let's talk about equipment rerolling. Now, uh, different ways to get equipment. In first of all, first of all, you know, ways to get equipment is you can get equipment from playing events, right? Like, say for example, like this Invincible Android 18 equipment, right? If you clear it every single time, you are able to get like you know this specific silver equipment, this specific gold equipment. Um, you got equipment. You got different equipment stages like this ultimate equipment collection which is really really good because it is a you know these are plat equipments right so i'm going to be talking about the difference between like the rankings of equipments like there's a bronze there's silver equips there is gold equips there is platinum equips and it is also equipment awakening as well so i'm going to be talking about all those stuff as well so these are basically like equipments for certain tags right like for a plat equipment like this this is only available. These equipments can be used for units that are green and that has the silence for the movie stats and stuff like that, right? You can focus on those. That, like this event right here, and you have the equipment collection. So if you're focusing on like Sands, you have a few Sands equipments that's in there, that's in here that you can kind of farm and use, get tickets over and over and over again. And then we also have some exchange shops that gives some really good equipment as well. We have two in particular I want to talk about. We have the Z Metal one, where it has some like all the PvP equips, all the old ones that they added in here. Now the only way for you to get Z Metals is you gotta be when you summon, you gotta have and you pull a unit that you already 14 star. It converts that Z power into Z Metals, right? So usually for OG players, they're most likely gonna have a lot of Z Metals because they play the game more. They're gonna be able to pull more copies of the older units a lot more. So if you're a newer player, you're most likely not going to have Z-Metals because you probably don't have your units at 14 stars. So when you pull that copy again, it doesn't convert to Z-Metals and everything. But they also have another equipment stop called Equipment Metals. You can have, they also have a ton of equipments here. They have plat equipments here for like certain LFs. And then they have a lot of good gold equipments and silver equipments as well. So <clears throat> if you guys are asking, how can I form those Equipment Metals before we get into everything? This is what I like to do. Um, equipment metals are pretty rare to get, I would say. So this is what I like to do. If I need to farm more, like I'm really like st starting to get really, really low on equipment metals, this is what I do. I will go here, 
pick a, a hero unit. Pick a, like a, 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 a trash hero unit. Like, for example, Roshi. Roshi does not do, he's just not a good unit. Like, he's a hero. Like, he's not going to do no damage. Go to PvP. <coughs> and then go to training battle. You want to go to train about because even if you win or lose you get equipment medals now if you win you get 10 equipment medals if you lose you get five now the reason why you want to lose on purpose is the amount the rate that you're going to get equipment medals when you lose on purpose then you actually trying to win the game you're going to get more equipment over time than trying to play a sweaty match and playing a 3v3 but if you lose on purpose you're going to get more equipment medals that way than trying to win on a 3v3 you take less time right so Go to crane metal, bring in one unit, and lose on purpose, and it's still rinse and repeat, rinse and repeat, rinse and repeat, and you get equipment medals that way. Then you can go to the shop and focus on a certain equipment and stuff like that. So, yeah, I kind of talked about all the ways of getting equipment. Now I want to talk about uh, just re-rolling in general. Now, one important thing to know. If you guys see pretty much all of my equipment, you guys see that the first light is usually either a gold or a red now there are three different types of like rarities for slots there is a green one there is a yellow one there is a red one so the green ones is you know it's kind of is the worst of them all that means if you look at a certain number right like out of like you know it's, it's like a percentage base so green ones that means it's not really all that good uh, if you get to the yellow, that means it's pretty much that equipment, that particular slot is almost to max number. And then red is just basically, it's really, really, really close to max numbers. Now, in terms of if you want to get Z's and Z+, plus, you want to re-roll that specific item that you want. You want that first slot, first slot to be gold or red slot. Now, why is it important for that first slot to be gold or red? is because when you do a re-upgrade shot, right? Say for example, I want to re-upgrade this equipment, right? I already got it to Z, but say for example, I want to re-upgrade. I'm only allowed to re-upgrade slot two and slot three. It won't ever let me re-upgrade to slot one. So that's why it's super important for you to have a gold slot on the slot one or a red slot on slot one, because you will never be able to re-upgrade as of this recording you, you're not able to re-upgrade at slot one so that's why it's important for slot one to have a gold or a red because it'll make it easier for you to get z's from slot two and slot three they could be less numbers than being at high say for example the first slot is green i will have to invest more resources to getting high numbers for slot two and three for it to be a z or let alone a z plus so you really want to focus on re-rolling a equipment to get it to gold or red slot because of that reason. Because you can't re-roll the, you can't re-upgrade the slot. So yeah, if you want to re-upgrade a slot, you have to use slot erasers. You guys see on the top left, I have 270 slot erasers. And what basically what slot erasers can do is basically if I have like a green slot, for example, I can remove that number and I can re-upgrade it and have a chance of that number being higher or have a chance of it to be upgraded to a gold or a red slot. So ways of getting erasers is playing PvP, playing a tournament of power mode, playing a Zenkai USTR mode that gives you the most erasers. I can show you guys that equipment right here. I mean, that event right here. This event in particular, it uh, resets every two weeks. You guys get a lot of the gold USTR things. And then you can go into the exchange shop and then go to other and then you can exchange these gold for erasers right there. That's pretty much the best way of you getting erasers. Um, you can also get erasers from daily login bonuses. Platinum coins is kind of somewhat rare. So we do get platinum coins. You can exchange for more erasers there. You can also from your guild shop, guild exchange shop, right? You can, for your guild coin exchange shop, go to others. You can get more slide erasers there. Um, you know, there is other ways of using skip tickets. You can use your skip tickets to get more erasers here, right? You can use skip tickets for more erasers. I personally don't think you should do that. And then there's other exchange stuff that you can get erasers for. So once you focus on getting that first slot to a gold or a red, you want to either just focus on slot two or slot three and try to re-roll until you get that slot two or slot three to a red or a, a gold or a red because then when you focus on slot three that number can be a lot less so for example you guys see this right here 
I farmed the first light. I rerolled the first light of this specifically Pacific region equipped for a red on the slot one, right? So that means it's already a really, really good thing because red is one of the highest, the highest rarity for equipments. Then slot two, I focused on making slot two a red slot as well. So then, so slot three, even though it's a green slot, the fact that since I have these two at red slots, it's easier for me to get a Z or a Z plus for that equipment. So that's kind of like my, um, my little uh, tip and tricks about doing it. So you want to get, you want to re-roll equip to get the gold or red slot on the first slot and then dump and then focus on pick one, either a slot two or slot three and focus all your erasers re-rolling on that one out of slot two or slot three until it goes to gold or red. And then you just rinse and repeat for that second one. Now, um, there's also a thing called guaranteed slot upgrades. So basically what that means is, say for example, you get a gold slot. Say for example, for this one, I have a 4.8 for slot three, but you want this at max. You want to get that 5% to pure strike attack for rival universe instead of that 4.8 but you don't want to re-roll it because you have a great chance of it being less value of that 4.8 than what you have now it's most likely have a higher chance of it going down than actually going up because it's close to max so what legends did right here we can go here they have a thing called secure upgrades so what secure upgrade does is basically you know, if you do a regular secure upgrade, it will cost five erasers instead of one. But if the number goes lower than 4.8, then it won't it won't change that value to that number. So say for example, I re-rolled it like a regular regular upgrade and it goes to a three. It will actually switch this 4.8 number and it'll go to a three. But if you do a secure upgrade and it goes to a three, it will cancel that and you'll still be at a 4.8. And the only time it will change is if it go if it's like a higher than 4.8 so say for example i re-rolled it with a secure upgrade and it's a 4.9 it will switch to a 4.9 it will never go lower it'll never switch to a lower value now i don't personally think that's worth but i think the guaranteed ability upgrade is definitely worth now with the guaranteed ability upgrade it is guaranteed for you to go up by a certain uh, amount of number with the secure upgrade it just lets you know that it won't ever go down, but it's never guaranteed that it's going to go up either. So you have a chance of racing a lot of races for it. So that's why I'll go for the guaranteed upgrade. Now, guaranteed upgrade, it costs more, right? Like for gold, it costs 30. I know for plastic, it costs 50. But if I do a secure upgrade, it's going to guarantee me that it's going to go up by 0.10% and it's going to be at a 4.9 and it will never go low, right? So I think this is very, very worth and my tips for using the guaranteed ability upgrade is to use chrono crystals instead of erasers. I feel like erasers, you should focus on getting slots to the gold slot or the red slot. And if you're trying to guarantee it to the max numbers, you should use CC because it only costs 150 CC. We have tons of ways. We be getting like around 20K CC per month. So it doesn't really hurt for you to spend like maybe 500 on our ratio just to make sure you get that number maxed out because this is what I've been doing and for example I have equipments like this slot 2 for uh, Goku 4 LF and his slot 2 was maxed out because I got it I used my erasers to get it to that gold slot and then I used a little bit of some chrono crystals so I can make sure I maxed out that number and everything and it just helps out because it balances out you can reroll more equipments for certain teams and everything and all that stuff and then you just you just add in that little bit of CC to make sure you max slot out that uh, that specific equipment that you're working on and everything so yeah, I just talked about um, all the ways for you to get equipment, how you guys can farm uh, equipment metals. I know a lot of you guys are free to play. I told you guys, like, it's really important for you guys for the first slot to get gold or red because you can't re-upgrade the first slot, right? So your odds of getting a Z and Z plus will diminish if it's a gold, if it's a green slot instead of a gold or a red. So talk about that. I'll talk about, you know, erasers, where are the best ways to get erasers. I talk about, like, my methods of using erasers first with the erasers to get it to gold and then how to use it like the best way to guarantee slot it use the chrono crystals and then last but not least i want to show you guys a website that can calculate like a unit like a equipment that you're trying to work on and like what numbers you might need for it to be a z or a z plus so i'm gonna show you guys an example right here let's take a look at this equipment right here Let's just scroll to one of my equipment that's an S that I want to evolve it into a Z. 
So let's take a look at, for example, let's take a look at, let me see, let me see, let me see. Let's take a look at this equipment, right? So this equipment right here, I have a red slider first and I have a gold on the slot three, but I still need the slot two to be a little bit higher for it to reach that Z level. So this equipment is for Super Saiyan 4s, and I'm gonna show you guys a website that has like a calculator and everything, and you guys can do this for yourself. So let's go to my website. Legends, the website is called legends.dbz.space. Legends.dbz.space is a very, very good website for Dragon Ball Legends purposes, and it has a lot of things about like, when banners are coming up like certain like kits about certain characters and all that stuff and it just has a lot of info so they have a thing called an equipment calculator where you guys can see certain equipments for certain units uh, or for certain equipments that you want to farm up and you can see like all right what numbers does this slot needs to be for it to break that s rank to that and go to that z rank how to break that z rank to that z plus rank right so we focus on that one equipment right it's for super saiyan 4 characters only so Gogeta 4 is going to have that equipment because he is a Super Saiyan 4 character, right? <clears throat> we can scroll down and then we're going to go to all the way down to the bottom. And this is the equip right here. It's this one right here. So it is called These Times Were Dark Enough Without You, right? It shows you guys the max number of the slot 2, slot 3, and then it has a rank calculator. So now what you can do is you can go back to Legends and you guys can see the numbers that you have on your equips and kind of like scroll use the scroll thing to equate it as the same thing and then see what you need for slot two for me for example slot two what i need for it to be a z so for slot one my special move damage is absolutely is at max so i can slide this uh excuse me i can slide this right here to 10 because that's the number that is at then for slot three i focus on all my slot rulers to make sure that slot three was a gold or a red so the it went to a goal and the number is 9.2 for slot three. So we're gonna drag this all along. If I can actually drag it, uh, hopefully I can get to the 9.2. Uh, no, yeah, 9.2, right? So I have it at 10 and 9.2, and we're focusing on <clears throat> slot two. When I need to re-roll it or guaranteed upgrade it, what number does it need to be minimum for me to hit that Z rank, right? So. The number that we have right now is 9.25. So we know that at 9.25, it is not, it doesn't turn to a Z. So even at 10, it doesn't turn to a Z. 10.55, it turns into a Z. So now we know, now we can kind of like move in between the, the 10 areas and see when it turns, when does it turn into the Z the first time. So 10.2 is the first time it turns into a Z. Let's do 10.1. 10.1, it turns into a S. So let's see if 10.15, keeps it at a s or a z so it turns into a z minimum at 10.5 so that means i know that i can either keep on re-rolling this equipment to hit that 10.5 or i can just play it safe and do the guaranteed upgrade and probably how, how many times do i have to do this how many times do i have to do this guaranteed upgrade for me to get that z so if i do chrono cross for example it goes up by 0.3 so that means i will have to do this four times i have to do this guarantee upgrade four times for me to get this to a z so you know in certain scenarios you might want to try to do the guarantee slot but since this is kind of like in the middle of the equipment it's kind of like in the 10 like since the max is 13 and the lowest is seven i think it would be best just to do regular guaranteed upgrades until it gets to that 10 number so you have you know 207 you have 270 chances for you for it to get to that number then do a guaranteed up so upgrade and wasting chrono crystals by four times because that equals 600 chrono crystals right there so here what i will do is use a slot remover and make sure it gets to that 10.5 or get even closer to 10.15 and then i can do a guaranteed one time and then i can get myself a z equipment on that now if i wanted to see what i need for it to be a z plus i can uh go here and see where number i needed for it to be a z plus you guys see is like around that 12 area right we can do here you have 12 point so it looks like it's 12.15 that's what it looks like 12.15 12.1 yep 12.1 look like it's the minimum for it 12.01.12 yeah so 12.1 will be the bare minimum number for slot two if i want to be at a z plus so yeah this equipment i mean this website 
you can use the rank calculator for any equipment you want you guys can see what number you need for it to get to that z rank or that z plus rank and everything so yeah hopefully this video helps in terms of the best ways of it getting a z plus and everything how to farm equipment uh, make sure you guys go get the first slot gold or red because it's going to help you have a, a better chance of getting it at z's and z plus because you can't re-upgrade a slot one you know the ways of getting the racers all that stuff and if you have more questions about this video make sure you guys drop it down below and everything so yeah hopefully this video helps you out like comment, subscribe i'm a girl man i'm out peace